Hello everyone. Part of the adventure involves I've got to be able to film stuff and Emily was pretty excited about this because I had to go spend a lot of money on a drone uh, which she told me I could not do and then I finally talked her into letting me do it. Now I decided to get I looked at all kind of different drones and I decided to get the Mavic Air because it is just tiny. I mean you could fold it up it literally fits inside a, a little bin that is about the size of an iPhone that you know, I have in my other pocket. It's obviously a little bigger, but you know, it folds right up and it shoots 4K video and it does not do some of the things that some of the bigger drones do, but um, I want to be able to take it on hikes and just whip it out of my bag and, you know, be able to shoot a drone uh, shot if I want to. I want to be able to have it in my backpack for bike rides and that's why I chose that one. Uh, it's tiny, basically just portability was the reason I chose that. And then we had to obviously, I mean, I'm I'm a pretty aggressive athlete. Uh, I've always been accused of being very athletic. Uh, so obviously I need a GoPro. So we got the GoPro uh, Hero 7 Black, which is like the new and improved GoPro. Um, image stabilized, 4K videos. Um, so I should be ready to go. It's all waterproof and I'm ready to rock and roll. Uh, now I have to go live life that is worthy of those things. And for an old fat guy, in his mid 40s uh, that could be problematic but I'm gonna give it my best go pro <laughs> okay all right so you can imagine how happy Emily was when I rolled in with all this you can see the GoPro the Mavic and I bought a backpack you can see how small the the drone is when it's folded up I mean that's a GoPro which is pretty small it's about half the size of a phone and then you can see my, my iPhone's attached to the controller, which is about the same size as the drone. So, doing a little firmware update. Initial power on. I'm excited. <laughs> okay, so let's fly this thing. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Okay, so the first flight was obviously a bomb, but we have liftoff. Even Elon Musk, who has millions of followers, <laughs> he crashed a few rockets in his day. Now, I'm telling you, this, uh, this initial flight does not seem like much. I'm just basically going straight up and straight down. <laughs> I did do a little turnaround. I, I made no attempt to fly any direction because I was literally, my heart was racing out of my chest. <laughs> uh, there's GPS's and all that. I mean, you're holding this joystick. It's like you're flying an airplane, and I'm not really that coordinated, so this was really complicated. And please don't pay attention to the weeds because I'm busy flying drones. I don't have time to garden. Now, with this third flight, you can see the boss there pointing. Uh, we went over to Steeplechase, which is near our house at Percy Warner Park. And as soon as we get there, you know, we went for our hike. And I said, I'm going to fly before sunset. And as soon as we get there and we're walking out and setting up and there's this guy flying a drone and he's like a professional drone pilot and he's flying literally around steeplechase, like on the track, like the horses run on. And <laughs> I, I swear, I mean, it was just embarrassing from start to finish embarrassing because he's like the drones tilted. It's like one of these guys that's doing all these tricks and stuff. And, you know, I'm out here. I can barely go straight up and down properly. Um, but anyway, this is steeplechase. So this is my kind of initial flight out in the wild. Uh, that's where the horses run. Those are those are the hills, kind of the, where all the trails are that we run on. And then I wanted to get the sunset. I was a little late for sunset, but there it is. Um, cresting the hill, showing us the sunset. Beautiful over the hills of Tennessee. It was my cinematography debut, and I thought it was just beautiful. There was probably many more minutes of that that did not look that good. Editing does a lot for shots, and cutting out all the stupid <laughs> turning and all that stuff that you don't want to see. But anyway, that's the steeplechase stands. Emily and I, we hike on that little road tons. And this is just me flying back home, taking a look around Percy Warner Park 
fan, as you look out, I mean, from this part of Percy Warner Park, which is at the very back of it, uh, Steeplechase, kind of the south end, I mean, you can see you're up on a hill, and you can just kind of see out all over south Davidson County, uh, north Williamson County, and it's really just beautiful countryside, and it's hilly, and when you're in the park, you're in the trees, you can't even really tell what you're doing. Now, we're down here at the very bottom. You can barely see us. So the drone's way up in the air. I mean, I, I got as high as you can go you're not supposed to go over 400 feet uh, and I did not break those rules because I want to be a good pilot and then I brought it home here and we had to do the oblig hey Emily you have to wave uh, <laughs> she puts up with me and then I almost ran into my head and then I decided you know before I land the thing um, go take one more shot of this little cloud formation here and I'm really going to do some piloting at this point. And I was not able to pull that off. Um, so I just did another up and swoop. And you can shoot straight down. That's a It's an interesting shot. So I was repositioning my lens here to kind of shoot straight down at the ground. And then I would just drive it home uh, looking straight down at the place where the horses run. And again, there we are. Um, what I did find out in this is that I'm going bald. Uh, there's not a lot of footage of my bald head <laughs> in this, but I am definitely balding, and I'm going to have to give my hairdresser about this because this situation is getting pretty bad. So I told Emily as soon as we got home and reviewed the footage that I was going to get a uh, pair of clippers and go buzz cut for the rest of my life. And she told me I could not do that until all the kids were married and I was through all the wedding photos. <laughs> I have no clue what that means. Um, but that's what she said. But my hair is as bald as that asphalt. Okay, so the final flight was brilliant idea indoors. And you can see Max is featured here. You do not see Emily in this shot, and you won't, because I would never do this with Emily at the house because she would yell at me a lot. Uh, bounced it off the ceiling there. Don't tell Emily I did that because she'll be mad at me. Um, Max had never seen the drone fly before, so I was kind of like, ooh, look at how cool your dad is, and he obviously didn't care. Now, what's happening here is this drone has sensors all over it, and it would not move. It was too close to the wall. It was too close to the chair. It was too close to everything, so it was literally just paralyzed, and I couldn't... Uh, I couldn't get it out of the air. Uh, I would reach underneath it and it would go up because it thought I was trying to hit it. I would try to land it. It would say up oh, too close to the chair. Uh, I finally just turned the video off as Max and I tried to clear the area. So we had to move all the furniture to get a, <laughs> a path for it. A few days later, Emily said, who moved this chair back? And I, I just shrugged my shoulders. I was like, I don't know. 